here is a lung and here are some enlarged lymph nodes here 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 you know the uh, normal lymph node shouldn't be more than about a centimeter or two big so when they get bigger than that grossly or radiologically the uh, radiologists will frequently say lymph adenopathy which means nothing more than enlarged lymph node notice that in this lymph node however you have a pretty well defined area in which you don't see the normal macrophagic uh, uh, phagocytosis of anthracotic pigment but it's uniform and white as you see here and here and here uh, that's not a good sign that means that part of this lymph node is replaced by something uh, and so it's partial replacement so it's not likely to be lymphoma it's more likely to be something we could instantly see here slam dunk little glands metastatic adenocarcinoma to lymph node uh, I guess we could end here because I know you've already diagnosed this instantly but notice how we see some lymphoid follicles here. Perhaps if we looked hard, we might see remnants of a subcapsular sinus. But as you know, lymph nodes should not have glands or epithelium. I will admit, some of the lymphomas can have lymphoid cells that look epithelioid. But in this case, there's absolutely no controversy. These are epithelial glands. They are having secretion in the center. Perhaps the cut surface of this looked a little mucoid because glandular secretion frequently is. And now you can very, very easily differentiate these bluer illuminated structures from the surrounding fibrous tissue that they have evoked in the process of metastasis as well as very easily from the lymphoid tissue that they have replaced within this lymph node. Thank you very much.